find each product. Notice in each of these examples we are multiplying binomials. When we are multiplying binomials it may be helpful to keep in mind an acronym FOIL. So the FOIL refers to multiplying the firsts the outers, inners, and lasts. And so this is referring to the placement of the terms in the binomials. So if I look at this first example, we have a plus 2 times a plus 7. The firsts are a and a, and so then their product is a square. The outers are the a and the 7. A times 7 is a 7a. The inners are the 2 and the a. And they have the product 2a. And the lasts, finally, are the 2 and the 7. And they have a product of 14. And now if we combine like terms, we have a squared plus 9a plus 14. So if we are multiplying binomials, this might be useful. Uh, it's another way to think of it, and it's valid. You can always go back to the previous idea presented, which is to take each term of the first polynomial and distribute it through the second polynomial. So here's another example. Exercise B, we have 2x minus 5 by 3x plus 2. The firsts, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. The outers, 2x times 2 is 4x. The inners, negative 5 times 3x is a negative 15x. The lasts, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Combining like terms yields 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. Exercise C, we have 7m plus 4n multiplied by m minus 2n. Again, let's use the FOIL concept. 7m times m is 7m squared. Outers, 7m times negative 2n minus 14mn. Inners, 4n times m is 4nm. Rearranging the n and the m gives a plus 4mn. And then the lasts, 4n times negative 2n, that's a minus 8n squared. Combining like terms yields 7m squared minus 10mn minus 8n squared.